is a quick tutorial video showing you guys how to make a standalone template for the WordPress landing page tool. So you might already have landing pages but aren't tracking the conversion rate or they might just be static HTML somewhere and you want to actually implement them into the templating system. And once they're in the WordPress landing page system, basically you can again track conversion rates but you can also run split testing. So you can test different variations, different headlines, um, different amount of form fields, you know, show social media buttons or hide social media buttons. Really the sky's the limit on the different things that you want to test. And if you basically create this into a WordPress landing pages template, you'll be able to define those options and give your clients or users of the template the ability to basically do that stuff on their own all through the WordPress interface. Um, it's very quick and easy to do that. Basically, the file structure of a, of a normal template consists of a couple different things. One, the index.php file, and that's all of your HTML markup. Uh, the config.php file, which defines all of the meta boxes and user editable areas that users will be able to see in the actual editor when they're using your template. And that looks like this. So that's the actual meta boxes that define the different options that users can toggle on or off. And then finally, we have the assets folder where basically your CSS and JavaScript will live. And then you'll also want to define a thumbnail uh, PNG. So when the user is selecting your template, from the landing page add new screen, they can actually see a preview of what it looks like. If not, it'll default to no picture and we don't want that. So I have this landing page that's just static HTML right now that I actually want to port into uh, as a landing page. And the first step that you're gonna wanna do is to find the different editable areas, which I'll explain in the next video down below in this tutorial.